Well, hey folks, welcome back to uh, oh, part two here on Ballydorn Farms. Hey, well, I finished cutting and rowing the grass from the last episode, uh, which is over the other way, as you can see. Um, I brought this bad boy over to uh, to lift the grass. I've already recorded the course to the BGA. It's stuff you've seen me do before, nothing new. So um, that was just to save a bit of time. Um. Before we do that though, I need to uh, record an empty course and we're going to be using a, this for it I think. Uh, what's the best way of doing this? Uh, this side? Mm, yeah, why not? Plenty of room. So, more or less lined up in the middle. Start the course recording, drive forward. Actually, you know what, we'll start a wee bit further back. It's always good to get a couple of waypoints in there. At least one. There we are. So, we are going to put a waypoint. Drive down the bunker. Stop. Uh, put another waypoint in, hit the reverse button, lift this up, ooh, bit tippy, drive forward, again this should work whenever we, if we get a loader, it should work with a loader. Over there, put a whip point in, hit reverse, take it out. Drive forward. I'm gonna get it round to before the start point. And that should work. So we're just going to save that as uh, unload BGA one. Let's set our bucket positions. It's that one there, isn't it? Yeah. So loading position. Well, let's just make sure that this doesn't have any strange bumps like the other one there. Uh, the bunker in the last map did, so put it to where we want to load. We're not going to jump or anything. No. It looks a bit flat, that's good. So set that. We're loading. Transport. Like that. Pre unloading. Like that, and unloading is just that. Okay, so that's that done. Get rid of that. And uh, before we start bringing the grass up, guys, I'm going to need to go and get a uh, silage blade. Let's drop our bucket. Drop front loader. It's going to want to go in the front here, but take that off. Let's just drive up the shop and uh, quickly grab some. So, while we're driving up, I had a few suggestions on how to fix the last map. Darren Castle had suggested try deleting the map in course play folder in the My Documents Farm Sim. Uh, unfortunately, I already tried that one, Darren. Um, it's probably one of the first things I did. Um, no, no luck there either on that one. Um, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know why the map just went like that. Again, all I can say is maybe just don't download that uh, heating plant. Seems to be bugged out somehow. Uh, Dwayne Griffith was saying um, he had the same thing happen to him. 
Took a straw harvest mod out. Straw harvest mod out. Game started working again. Uh, and that's what fixed it for him. <coughs> Tried that one to win. Um, it didn't work. But what I was surprised with actually when I done that is I uh, took the mod out. Uh, and because we have uh, washed potatoes <laughs> on the map, all the pellets in the, uh, the straw harvest hall turned into washed potatoes. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, yeah, that didn't work either, man. Uh, even tried it with an earlier save as well. So, I don't know, guys. Um, to me, it's looking more and more like it's a uh, a lost cause. Um, but it's a shame too. The Valley of the Old Farm is a brilliant map. It's just I, if I'm gonna start again, guys, I might as well start again on a different map. And I'm not putting 164 hours worth of work into it. I, I just too much time spent on the uh, creating the pellet pallets and stuff. Um, possibly bring it into the save game. We'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. Really, I suppose. So yeah, we're gonna get some use out of our T4. Yay! Oh, wrong side of the road. Oops. Used to playing European maps, um, non-British maps, and uh, American maps. That's why I'm on the wrong side of the road. Right. So back at the shop, and uh, let's get a silence blade. Uh, let's try something different this time. I think levelers. We normally go for one of the in-game ones. Uh, I don't know, I just like this one. Design. Ah, uh, colour, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah. Still don't know how to put the water in it, though. Let's drop our weight. Put it on the front. Because we want the side of blade on the back. Interesting heart. Let's we'll see if we can get this filled with water some stage as well. But as for now, we'll leave it, but um, maybe the next time I will, you know, go around near the farm or whatever, we'll, we'll take it over and uh, fill it up because it's going to be too long of a drive to drive over there to drive back again. So, back to the BGA. We'll get the leveling course recorded and then we'll start picking some grass up. Um, oh, this way. Some more fields have come into harvest time, and we have also got a, um, a field that needs seeded. I think we said we were going to sell some stuff in this one, this this episode as well. So we'll maybe, uh, maybe we'll have to take uh, just a course recording and, and, and go ahead with the uh, the spare tractor and go up and down. Although no, actually we have. Yeah, no, we can do we can do both. We can uh, we can sell and uh, harvest at the same time. Because we've got the two other tractors on the map. We've got that nasty green thing and the, uh, the Massey. Well, I picked the slowest tractor to go up here, didn't I? So yeah, guys, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> hit this one with a with, uh, big style. Um, try to get some. Uh, some income going generated straight away with the uh, the bunker here. We'll, we'll probably cut it straight after this one, or maybe we'll go ahead and cut down the uh, the cow field and the the sheep field and whatnot, and maybe we'll go ahead and bring that up too. I mean, we're not going to be getting cows and sheep anytime soon, so yeah. Uh, what we also have to do as well, we have to remember to switch this bunker over to grass silage grass leech or whatever you want to call it. Uh, probably not going to get as much for selling it, but probably get more, a lot more for selling it as grass leech than we are going to be selling for grass. Uh, remember, not playing season, so we, we can't get away with that. Right, so, leveling. In the middle of the bunker. 
Uh, we'll start just about here. We'll take it out. Take it over here. Uh, put a whip point. Hit reverse. Let's take it back to the start points. Remembering that we need to uh, stop before that. And we'll stop it there. And we'll just save that as BJ level 1. BJ1 level? B BJA1 level. And we should be able to reverse that back. And drive the. Oh, here I'll put it in the right course. Uh, we just want to course players because if we come down here in tractor, it means we're not going to be doing that. Slightly bump that up to three and a half, just to give us a bit of leeway. It's always good to bounce it up a bit. Silas so bump, bit reverse unload, and blah blah blah, all that good stuff. Play first play point. You go ahead and drive. Let's just make sure it doesn't crash into the wall here. No. Okay, cool. <coughs> so let's try and work out our offset for this first of all. So we need to put this on a work mode, obviously. Um, we're going to have to put it on the windrow course. Let's see if we can find out where it is. It starts up here. Because we have to try and work out what the offset for this is going to be. Because it, it kind of puts it off to the side. Oh, we have to remember to put that bunker in the grass. Let's just do that quickly before I forget. Oh, yeah, you're good. Uh, so, F1. Uh, oh, it's in grass leads. That's good. Um, I'm going to have to make that a bit wider. Put up to four then. It shouldn't crash now. Oh, four seems to be about right. No, set the wall again. So let's bounce it up even more, four and a half. Let's take a run through this. It's not going to level anything at the moment, obviously, because there's nothing in to level. So, uh. I don't put it up anymore. Do I? It's up to five. It's two meters extra on either side, though. It's it seems like a bit much. We are sort of sent. Well, yeah, we're almost central when we stop, so it should be all right. Give it that one though. Oh, why that? Why is that green? It's not only white. Okay. Um. Oh, I pressed F2 by accident there, didn't I? Oops. Uh, we need. To, there you are. There. Let's work out what we need for this one then. We'll do that. I'm just going to collect this wee bit of here. We just not what not and all the rest of it. For some reason it didn't rule that part, but hey, we've got it now. 
Right, so we're going to have to offset it to the uh, left by the look of it. But how much are we going to need it? So, there we are. Uh, horizontal. Another one to the right. I just hit play and we'll, we'll see it as we go along. I think that's the best thing to do. So that's central again. That's not good. We want to go to the left. We're picking up some. We're not central though. Let me put up the meter. Let's see how we do on the next <coughs> the next row. Meter might be the, the magic number. Wow, such a turning circle, eh? <laughs> and I might have to put it over even more. One by five. I'd be happy with it just a wee bit extra. I would have thought that was two meters over, eh? Hey? So, just stick with it to the next row. Make sure we've got that before we go and continue on. And we'll keep an eye on it and make it a run. Actually, do you know what? We have to put it on the run yet. Uh, forgot about that. Because I've only loaded the uh, the job course, so... Mm. This is well we noticed that. That's a bit of a wild turn. Right, so we'll do. We'll stop that. On the end of that, we'll put that to PGA one. We'll put that on the end. And uh, let's let's throw up the courses here. Have a look at it. That's not going to work, is it? Where is it? It's not. Because the guy's going to go over to there. It's going to be a nightmare. Let's try, try it and see, though. Uh, nearest waypoint. Is it going to pick it up? Oh, oh, it is. I say we just need to wait to the next window now just to make sure it works perfectly and then we'll go and get stuck into something else. Let's, uh... Get rid of that. We see the mad turn. It's gonna make a big mad turn. Well, this this thing's got rear wheel steer on it, Fent. Oh, this isn't. It's is gonna. Yeah. Yep, there we go, guys. That's gonna work. Well, you're working way. Let's get the mass eight. And, uh. Let's get a. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? We need a. Trailer of some sort. I'm gonna be using that, though, for selling, so. Ah. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Let's get you down and get field 11 plowed anyway. Been a long time since I've used the mull board here. Not even a transport position there. Did 
No, I'm not even going to use it. I'm going to put course to use it. So, generate that. I'll fill the 11. Headlands will do 4. Uh, yeah, I'll generate 2.3 meters. Wow. <coughs> okay, let's uh, let's set you off to work. I don't know how course play is going to work with this actually. We'll turn in and we'll not. We'll see, I suppose. Oh, custom play texture. Oh, cool. What's that on the edge? It's cotton, isn't it? Oh well. Take you down to the field. Uh, field 13, I think it is. Right beside us. So, let's see if we can get our way down to there. Only one way in out of this yard. I keep forgetting about that. We're going to have to do some of this new Holland as well, I mean... Uh, let's swap this up at some stage, because... I think I'd like to go back to using a class of some type. I'm going to go with the, the Lexion. How do we get into this field now? From the road, from the road, okay. And if we use the Lexion, we're going to have to start using header trailers, aren't we? Yeah, we're going from from the road. It's uh, okay. What's this one? So this one is barley, I think, by the look of it. None of these crops are properly fertilized or anything, guys. So the uh, it's not going to be the best of, of uh, yields for generate back field thirteen. meter harvest. Should get some straw this as well. Um, we're going to have to change our build trailer as well, guys, because I went ahead and picked up those bills from the other field, and I've done it manually. Uh, the thing that got me about that, though, guys, is that um, there's no straps in that trailer. That, that can't be right. You know, there's absolutely... You know, it looks as if it's set up for straps, but... You know, oh, oops. There's no straps on the trailer, so I had to like load them like that, and oh you know, yeah, whatever. So, what are you at? Seventy percent. Oh, looks like we did a lot of overlapping, but hey, let's go get some selling done. I think, um, and this will give us a chance to look around the map as well. Actually, uh, how do we get out of here again? That way? No. Is it that way? No, it's not. It's up the other side of the, the farm. Not too sure about that window, guys. Um, I suppose we could leave it and see. Very small, but then again, we over works kind of tight for money. So I think we've still got a loan as well, haven't we? Uh, you start off with a loan, don't you? I never even looked at that finances. Uh oh we don't we don't have any loan. Okay. So we still have a loan to to push back on if we need to. I'm thinking about swapping this out for the uh the forty series from uh what's going on over here? From black sheep anyway, so we'll see how that goes. We only really didn't really get to play with it in the last map too much, so yeah. Okay, so the pipe is uh, 
Sorry, the trailer's under the pipe. I'm tired. I had a hard night at work. A long night at work, not hard. And, um, I'm sort of doing this before I go to bed. So, Phil. Uh, we'll say we'll wait for the time being. Let's see, look at wait to see where the best sell point is for it. We are going to go to Willowbrook Foods, which is where Willowbrook Foods down there. So, um, out of the farm and up around the coast. Oh, oh, at least the forest area. We're gonna have to go around the coast. It's gonna be a long, drawn out course. So let's start a course recording. Bring it out, turn it round. Remember, we're on the left side of the road here because we are in the UK. Oh, I have a sprayer. Oh, cool. I didn't think I need to buy a sprayer for weeds. But we'll have one, so yeah, excellent. Try to keep it as far to the left as possible so we can run, you know, we have multiple things going up and down into the farmyard at the same time. Oh, yeah, pay attention, Thomas. Our grass is about to run too. Not going the right way? I am. Out round Strangford Lock. Down to the cell point. Oh, there's a grass feed. Look. Hey. It's not a huge map, guys. Um, but it's going to be challenging, you know, with the. Uh, with the UK layout with walls and fences and, and hedges and whatnot. Uh, no, I don't go up there. This will be our sell course for uh, Willowbrook Foods. So guys, I'm thinking about making a small change to the map. Um, I'm going to ask a question to make sure it's possible before I say what it is I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about. But, um, yeah, we'll get back to that one in a second. Is this the entrance here? No entry. Oh, entrance is here. Oh, right to the left, almost there. Uh, here. Why do I have to open the gates? Surely there should be a security guard opening the gates for me. Oh my system, that's good. I have to find out where the cell point is, right at the back. Okay, we can't go in there. There it is. Again, most of the selling hopefully will be able to um, basically make course play to it. And I run the green tanks. And uh, off home. I'm going to have to remember guys that for some strange reason I have to open and close the barriers. Keep to the left. And 
don't get stuck on the wall, okay? So, pause. I'll take it back to here somewhere. Take it from maybe there. So let's delete it back. We shouldn't really have maybe one tractor running out here at the time anyway, so I mean, maybe I shouldn't be too worried about them crossing paths. It's the road I'm more worried about, you know, if we have something running up beside it. Let's go back to the farm. Where is. The Vario is getting there. Fence. Just want to make sure it works, guys. It's before I uh, let it continue and dump and make a big mess down there. It's only a 5,000 liter bucket and not that uh, front loader, so it <laughs> a mess would be a mess. Um, it'd be harder to clean up because we don't have a big wheel loader down there. Although I suppose I could take the telehandler down, but yeah. Telehandler, uh, maybe going to be more useful for farms in a minute because I have a few different attachments for it. Um, I only have a bucket for the front loader or arm, so. And that's hard to record, of course, to a uh, cell point. I think I've done a lot of the course records on the, uh, the valley with uh, without anybody around, so yeah, at least you can see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Harvester needs to be unloaded. Okay. We'll get that in a second. Patience, course play. Patience. We'll bring it there. Eh, it's making a mess of dance, but hey, I can live with it. It'll take me a few minutes just to run up on the edges of those and get it fully plowed in. We should be glad these hedges don't have collisions because if we do clip them, it means we're not going to be hanging up. And if I can pull that so it's more or less going to go straight in there. And hit stop. And that's going to be a silo uh, cell to Willowbrook. Uh, we've got some more corn there, so I'm just going to hit that and let it go. Uh, it's going to be that work mode there. Uh, we're going to be doing wait, so play first waypoint, why not? Let's see how it does. Does it fill okay? It'll empty okay, but I'm just, just making sure it fills. Yeah, there we go. Right, so you're done. Oh! Reversed in properly. That's good. That's good. Let's get into your uh, tractor or T4. So we've set it up. Pro oh no! Look at the mess. It's gonna make outside it now. Mm. That's a shame. I maybe need to reverse further in to dump them. I'll have to remember that for the next time. So the only thing we could do now is to let it run this time and uh, re-record the course of the next time, guys. But as you can see, you know, so it, it sort of has more time to dump inside. But as you can see, that is hopefully going to work the best. And no, it's not because it's picking up grass and it's not recording it as grass leach. Uh, stop you for now. Uh, I'm going to stop you here. 
I'm going to re-record that course guys and I'm going to get it to drop further in. Uh, all I can do at the minute though is to put the loader arms on and just dump that in. Not even that much though, but it's, it's amazing how that wee bit there will stop that whole operation. So I'll have to record that, but I'm going to have to record it with it dropping a wee bit further in. That's that's fine. Um, that's easy done. Oh, look at the time guys. Um, it looks like it's time for this episode to, to end. Um, I was cutting the weight. Oh. That was me being lazy, wasn't it? Eh. Maybe we just attach it and break it up. Will that work like that? I wonder. Well, there's nothing on the front, but the only thing is the clearance then. With the driving and turning. Shouldn't make a big difference, should it? There you go, guys. That's, uh... It was working, but I just haven't reversed the uh, the unloading tractor far enough in for it to work properly. Uh, comments and questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you feel that you uh, need to do so. Um, and for me for now guys, uh, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you here on the next episode. Bye for now.